Racism itself is a public health crisis, one that impacts every facet of our lives. One in every three black kids in Wisconsin live in poverty, a rate that's 3.5 times higher than that of white kids. Black Wisconsinites are more than 11 times more likely to be incarcerated than their white counterparts. In Wisconsin, 85% of white adults aged 25 to 54 are employed, compared to only 61% of black adults in the same age group. This disparity in employment of prime age workers is the worst in the nation. Black Wisconsinites are nearly three times more likely to be unemployed than white Wisconsinites, which is the worst unemployment disparity in the nation. The median annual income for white, household, white households in Wisconsin is just over $59,500, a little more than twice as much as the median income for African American households, which is $29,000. We also see the disparity in housing, where more than 70% of white families own their home, compared to just 27% of black families in Wisconsin. To say it bluntly, these statistics are sobering and they are devastating. Just like we cannot look away from police brutality and the killing of black men and women, we cannot look away from the reality that inaction, indifference, and institutional racism has harmed generations of black and brown Wisconsinites. This cannot be who we are any longer. 